Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the like button. Um, today, I'm just going to take you through a day in the life of a teacher. So <laughs> here we go. Um, right now, I am at my planning period. Um, I have um, got through the first part of my day, which is phonics and started reading. And now my kids are at gym. Um, today is our 100th day of school, so we just did our 100th day parade um, in the hallway with the kinder and first graders, and then the second, third, fourth, and fifth graders cheered us on, so it was pretty exciting for our kids, so it was pretty cool. Um, I am using my pump right now. You can't see it. It is on and tucked under here. <laughs> here is the little box that I have. Um, I'm wearing underneath my dress, um, so I'm going to get some work done. Um, what I'm hoping to accomplish today during planning is <clears throat> to look over my lesson plans for the day, just to make sure that I have a solid understanding of everything that I'm teaching today, and then I'm also hoping to prep some stuff for next week's lesson, which I'm really excited about. Um, so next week we're going to be doing um it, next week is starts the month of february so um our curriculum actually lines up um our teaks for social studies says historical figures that we can study um our reading is informational text and our writing is expository text so it all aligns very well uh, and perfectly for Black History Month. So I'm really excited. Um, so next week, my kids are going to be looking at and studying three different historical figures that were pretty important people um, in Black history. And it is Garrett Morgan, who invented the traffic signal. So for that, um, I actually found this idea on um, Pinterest. And what you do is use red, green, and yellow construction paper that I have to separate out um, to make a traffic signal and basically your students write facts on each of the traffic lights for that person for Garrett for Garrett Morgan so my kids are gonna do that next week um, I'm gonna have them do facts about Bessie Coleman who was the f who was the first um, African-American female pilot and then also about Harriet Tubman 
um, for the Underground Railroad. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and do a little bit from each part of history, kind of um, give them like a broad view of, of those people. And so I do teach first grade, so we are going to kind of simplify it so that they understand, but still kind of help them have an understanding of history. And it's pretty cool because they go through traffic lights all the time, so now they'll be able to tell their parents who invented it. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start prepping some materials and looking at some stuff. Um, I'm also hoping to um, get my guided reading stuff together. I have to rearrange my groups, so I'm gonna work on that hopefully as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
So I was gonna go make copies, but I don't have time. So I may have to do it on my lunch or after school. Um, I'm going to try to use the last few minutes that I have to, um, oh, I can already spent this. I'm gonna try to use the last few minutes that I have to um, organize my, my guided reading notebook a little bit. I messed up for guided reading because I had to move some groups around. So, and I did some running records yesterday. So I'm gonna do that now. I use these um, little pockets for guided reading. So since I have a an AM and a PM class, I put my Guided reading groups in for my um, AM class over here, and my folders for my guided, my PM guided reading groups over here, and I keep the lesson plans in the folders with the books that I'll be using. So that's very helpful for me. Um, but I'm gonna work on that, and I'll see you guys in a little I bit. I say that my life is a hot mess right now. So today is Thursday. It is almost 10 o'clock, and I still have yesterday's date written on the board. <laughs> I am not kidding. Like, when you come back from maternity leave, it takes, like, a while to adjust back into the swing of things. And I thought that I was going to come back and maybe, like, give myself a week and I would be, like, back into it. But this is the third week I've been back to work. And for the most part, I have, like, everything the way it's supposed to be. But there are still some things that I'm just like, oh, my God. I am not, I am not doing it. Like I am not, I am not doing a great job. Like I am not the old Shannon. So it takes some time to adjust after having a baby. So if you are a mama who is a teacher or you work in any other career field and you're just going back to work, please give yourself some grace. It's not gonna go back to the way it was automatically. It is gonna take you some time. Guys, it is my lunch now, and I'm literally just now eating my food, and I have to leave to go pick up my kids in like four minutes, so <laughs> I just talked my lunch away. I had to go make copies, like I said I was going to do earlier, and um, one of my um, first grade teammates had to ask me a question about some writing we're doing, so I stopped and was talking for a little while, and so now... I'm trying to eat in just a few minutes. I'm eating leftover salmon from earlier in the week and some um, black eyed peas, which I'm probably not gonna be able to finish. I am pumping right now. I actually have my pump on right now as I'm eating. Oh, and I forgot, I need to take my prenatal vitamin. And I need to refill my water because I drank it all. I was going to have such a productive lunch. I never got to my guided reading binder, so I was trying to do that, and it is not going to happen. And just that quick, I forgot what I was even going to do. See what I'm talking about? I don't know if this is like mom brain or what it is, but. Oh, see, now I remember my prenatal vitamin. My brain is just not functioning. I don't think I have enough water. my cup. 
try to drink two of these at work and then one at home and that gives me 96 ounces um since the last time i was able to get on so we did my kids came back we did um They did literacy stations and writing. So when I get in from lunch, we're gonna go to recess and then we're gonna do more writing and end with social studies and then I'll get my PM class. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Like a fire that burns so bright I was day and you were night Like a spark we were quick to ignite Then you ask yourself is it worth this fight I love you so much sometimes baby I felt like I couldn't breathe When I look in your eyes I know I'm right You're where I need to be This could be the last you to know that this ain't over If you fall, I pick you up Never too much Carry these memories Till we're so Catch me Falling down Need you Here's something now Catch me Falling down This ain't over
going to end my vlog here, day in the life of a teacher. Um, I'm actually, it's the next day, I'm at Walmart picking up salads for our Super Bowl potluck lunch today at work. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If so, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.